Hey everybody out there in uh, YouTube land, YouTube world. Um, it's been a while since I made a video and I've just, I've had a lot going on. Um, but I recently graduated from uh, DBT therapy. It's dialectical behavioral therapy. Um, very PTSD focused and trauma focused. Um, I'm actually done with that program. So I was going to make a few videos on what I learned and some of the techniques used and now I'm going to go to uh, trauma focused PTSD trauma focused therapy um, and I want to make a video uh, I was thinking about it the other day and something came up um, and it's actually September is suicide awareness month and it got me thinking about um, the veterans, veterans uh, crisis line um, which is 988 and that that is a uh, um, I've used it before myself and it's it's worked pretty well I've actually called and texted you can do both um, so if you if there are veterans out there that are kind of edging or um, just not feeling really good um, 988 is a is a great number uh, to call um, especially you know, us kind of going into uh, the season of where you've got some holidays coming up. I know we've got Halloween, but Thanksgiving and, and Christmas and all that stuff. And before you know it, September will be over. I felt like the summer just blew by us. Um, but I've been so busy with some things. And um, this is a good time to, to realize the importance of PTSD and the effects that it has not only not only on veterans and first responders because they they get exposed to a lot but even those folks who are out in the civilian world that may come across you know horrific things see horrific things or um, are traumatized themselves it's important to recognize PTSD is it, it, it's real it matters and it's an important issue um, I mean that's why now at least in in the first responder the law enforcement community after a traumatic event an incident they actually have at least in this county they have social workers they have people who are mental health clinicians come out and debrief officers because PTSD is a real thing it's to be taken seriously and it affects people and sometimes it affects people in a negative way and that's why we have negative coping mechanisms and we have positive coping mechanisms um, I had to go through recently uh, something recently where there was a mental health professional um, uh, claimed that you know it's just a decision it's just a decision we make in these negative coping mechanisms. Well, why call it a negative coping mechanism? I mean, we make decisions every day that have an effect on our life, whether they're positive or negative. But coping mechanisms are trying to cope with trauma that has been experienced and is still there and has been unaddressed. Sometimes it's negative, sometimes you have positive means. But if you don't have the tools and you don't have the resources available to you to learn positive coping mechanisms and understand what your target behaviors are that lead to negative coping mechanisms, how are you going to address it? How are you going to get better? And that's where DBT for me came in, dialectical behavioral therapy really came in for me and helped me learn those positive coping strategies, identify the negative ones and understand what was going on and understand how to better address it instead of leading to those what they call target behaviors into negative coping mechanisms such as like drinking alcohol or drugs or uh, a wide variety of different different things out there. There's a whole bunch of negative coping mechanisms, um, just to name a few. 
uh, alcohol addiction, drug addiction, sex addiction, porn addiction. I mean, there's it, the list go on and on and on and on. Um, and it's it can be really bad and it can have a negative impact on your life and your family if you don't address it and you don't look at it. So this being September, this being the month of suicide awareness, if you know someone out there that is struggling, please try to get them help. Please reach out to them. Be a good friend. Be a good person. Check up on them and see how they're doing. Um, if they need something more, then try to identify that and reach out to resources and people that can uh, help and do something about it. So anyway, that's that's my uh, update video. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to make some other videos here about DBT and what I learned. Some of the strategies maybe um, give you guys some strategy if you're if you're looking at something like that and that would be useful and helpful. Um, I'll make some videos uh, coming up here about DBT and some of those strategies. I hope everyone has a blessed day and take care.